do a quick speed comparison between these two. Okay, so there we go. I have iOS 14 on the left, iOS 15 on the right. Let's get into it. Let's make sure all the apps are clear on the background first. And as you can see, this one did not. So this will be super quick. Phone calls, three, two, one. I think iOS 15 was actually faster. App stores, three, two, one. And it looks like iOS 14 may have been a little bit faster there. iOS 15 definitely taking its time. I don't know what's going on there. There we go. Scrolling through, you can see roughly about the same thing. Not a big difference there. Hopping out of this one, let's go ahead and get into news, three, two, one. And I guess iOS 15 is faster. 14 kind of stuck in that panel a little bit, and we did get into another panel right after. Let's get into something else. Let's go ahead and get into, well, I guess I don't even have any third-party apps on this specific device. So let's get into mail, three, two, one. And there we go. Let's get into clock, three, two, one. And there we go on that one. I don't know what that timer is. Let's get into camera, three, two, one. And I think 14 was or 15 was actually faster. Let's get into stocks. Three, two, one. And there we go. I think 14 was a little bit faster, but they were roughly around the same, to be honest. Let's go into books, which I don't think I have on this device. Let's get into something like podcasts. I will just go into messages. Three, two, one. And a little bit of a pop-up here. Let's get into health. Three, two, one. And there we go. So there's a couple of differences here and there. I think ultimately there really isn't that crazy of a difference in terms of speed yet, at least on the iPhone 8 Plus. But I think further along we go, I think iOS 15 is probably going to be a little bit faster, to be honest. So that's a